Hello, friends of Komodo Platform, friends of Pirate Chain. It's me, Giuliano, friends of BTC, friends of crypto, friends of Plan B and Willy Wu and Cliff I and Wu and all of you. Reggie Middleton, what's up? Friends, gather around, let's take a look at this price chart action. Yes, the stock to flow model is one thing to consider right now. So let's do that. We've got this weekly price chart, BTC. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> well, either it's gonna be some sort of orange idea or some sort of peachy idea. But the peachy idea seems more along the line of the stock to flow model. We'd be friends of Ichimoku Cloud. We'd be finding our supports. It doesn't, we could still go lower, uh, but then find some form of supportive play here in and around the Ichimoku cloud, uh, whether it goes lower or whatnot, it's fine, but this acts as the support region and then we can get the higher move. Otherwise, yes, it's this collapse through the, through the side of the, the knee of the Ichimoku cloud here. So I can break that sucker right down. Well, what what's your bet? Um, by the way, none of this financial advice, but you know, remembering to uh, stay hydrated and well rested and all that other good stuff. That kind of also, it's not not advice either, you know. But uh, sometimes reminders. So yeah, moving around, getting exercise, just like these prices, they exercise themselves on these charts. Well, this down move over here uh, is also the other flip of the coin. I mean, of course, there are other formalities, so it could form in other ways, but the basic idea would probably be like this. So now, that's the BTC. And on a daily, in fact, you know, we start to see that uh, possibly there is resistance here. Possibly we're getting that resistance going into a weekend. And by the way, it's me, Giuliano, Friday on the uh, 23rd of of uh, July. So yeah, possibility of meeting resistance here coming further down. Also possibility of just slowing down here and then going further high, higher. Either way, none of this is meant to be specific on the time frames, but a general idea. Okay, here's 2022 over here. So we'd still be below the highs, but maybe nearly around or after but again that kind of idea right this move between whenever we get to it this 40,000 ish level to the yeah, 50,000 ish level is going to be a strong move to the upside uh, all right now that's the basic idea could go intermediate lower uh, maybe test again this lower or make that further low. But let's say, for example, if we are moving into some form here, let's just check this one out right here. Good, that's a 61.8. So let's say it, it hangs out around here and then goes further down. That retracement allows here, and then we can go for one of these actions here and see where would a one to one bring us. And that would bring us around that. 27,000 level. Let's take it higher um, because, oops, because we're thinking, all right, from this move here, and then we get to our 26 levels. So there are some ways that we can make lower lows and capitulate for real, for real on a daily. Uh, and that would provide on the weekly, uh, if it's down here at this 26 level, I mean, that is way low uh, considering where we are, you know, but on a weekly time frame, a one, two, three, four, five. So we've got over a month, about a month, month and a half to really hit that and then come back up. And that I don't, I don't think that that would even be necessary. It would probably be like a one week shot. And it might even just be uh, in a wick all that way down and could be less, but again, let's see, we could have hit our lows 
here on a weekly in closing terms. And that's fine too, because when we look at the candle, we can see that it's quite fine, just fine in the candle formation as well, no problem. All right, this could be considered some sort of failure of this previous move, depending on what you're looking at. Now, that's the idea for the BTC. So let's then move over to KMD. We got this KMD BTC price chart. And the idea here is, yes, we are falling through this Bollinger Band and most likely we're looking down towards this 1800s level to find some support. Uh, so that's it for the weekend. Don't be surprised if the prices go down and this is the type of moves that we see in the in the BTC. Not sure, I mean, a move of violent move down to 26,000 would be way worse than this. That would probably, that would probably tear this one down hard, uh, harder, right? But, um, so in that case, maybe the, the move to 26 is not necessarily the case. And either way, KMD moving at its own pace, it's making a lower low right now. This is a four hour price chart, by the way. So it is what it's doing. Uh, if it could maintain this, that's cool and go higher, but it looks like it's time to dump down further and find that 1800 levels of support. Feel me? All right, that's the idea there on the on the uh, the four hour and we see now this bearish candle on the daily. Uh, so yeah, there you go, makes sense. All right, no worries. And then the next thing, all you pirates out there, let's take a look here, RBTC. There we go, making some good support within this uh, this region here, that type of level and taking that further. All right, and there we go. We'll try and keep that as support. Otherwise, breaking down below it brings us, uh, uh, brings us lower. And then we need to really hold the lower low of this support and make a higher low. So let's hope maybe this can be a higher low. We're gonna just use a trend line here to watch what's happening. So we're gonna know very soon if we are gonna significantly break down. This is our BTC. So there is, uh, there is a good chance that it comes like this. Whoops, whatever. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, that's just a, that's just meant to be an arrow down. But anyway, all right, get the idea. Okay, so possible. Uh, and just watch this this trend line, and that's what you get. This is a daily price chart. Uh, we can look actually because this doesn't give us a lot of data. We can well let's. For all you friends over there, you want to see Bollinger Bands and such. The the these the strong point here is that we're on the the upper end of this Bollinger Band, but we've rejected from the top here twice, and so let's see it might break down below and go further down. That's that idea. Okay, and if we look onto our uh, price chart that has more data, okay. Ooh, yes, we had all kinds of ideas. So here's two ideas long term. All right, pirates, here you go. Um, it could be making some A and a B and a C. And this A, we could count it down and, and it could be counted in a few different ways. Uh, there is a possibility, like if there's some sort of X wave in here, uh, then we could, it could actually be going before this B up, it could be making a further down move. But um, yeah, we'll see what's happening because it is, if we retrace this, it's still within a you know golden pocket type of range here. Um, just between the 618 and 786 on retracements, then that's a, a good area for rebounding. And now an idea would be that this would form a, a bigger uh, degree of an A and we get a B, then we would get a C. Other options is instead of getting this B and then this C, this would be a uh, correction of a bigger move up, um, impulsive type of continuation. And that would mean that, you know, this wouldn't be a B, it would just be the, the part of the next move up. And then we could get maybe uh, uh, some form of double uh, topping or in other words, some sort of terminal or failing uh, 
final move before the bigger correction. So those are two ideas there. And the reason this ABC bigger version comes in is because we have that, again, that Ichimoku expansion here uh, in, the, in the upwards um, and you can just crack through it. Or again, like the other bullishness. And if you notice, you know, other bullishness will bring it higher. And if you notice, uh, this is in the 22, 23 time frame. Well, 2022 really. But again, this, who knows what it's going to look like. This is just ideas more so than anything. And that would mean that this uh, would, this um, MACD, you know, coming down and, and finding some some form of bottoming and then coming back up uh, be, be, because the other option is that it comes down and it, you know, it goes you know, down. Like, you know what I'm saying there? So that's the idea. So if it is gonna continue with that bullishness, it's gonna probably have to be some sort of rounding. And yeah, I could continue with a rounding up and then further down and then up or whatever it's gonna make it look like but this would have to be some sort of continuation into the upside of bullishness. Otherwise, it seems more likely than that we would have this ABC formation. Now, having said that though, either way, what we get here moving in onto a daily is where we start to see the triangle play out. All right, so we'll get rid of, of this for now. Um, this wedging, descending type of wedging is playing out. So we, if you were watching, hey, if you were watching the videos, by the way, thanks for liking and commenting on these videos. Oh, and I got that the Darrow request or Darrow. Uh, I will, de I've definitely taken a preliminary look. I'll, I'll, I'll add it. Okay, uh, we'll talk about it another time. Uh, but right now here, we're into the pirate chain. And uh, yeah, and any other requests, please make requests. Uh, I'll take a look at them. Thanks, it's fun, let's have some fun. Um, so we had these two points here, and then we had this, this third point here. Uh, this third point never really fell in line with the downtrend, but interestingly, now we've got that point falling in line. So we make a touch, a touch, a touch. Are we going to make another touch here, come down and then go out? Are we going to just go out or are we going to break down hard? So the idea being we could make some sort of touch against the trend line and then come back down before then moving higher. Other idea is we could um, we could just you know break right out first and then do our comeback down. And the breakout itself doesn't even need to be violent. It could just be a sideways type of breakout. Uh, the other idea then would be if not, then we hit it and we come down or we don't even have to hit it and it's like a breakdown. Or if you know, for some reason it's gonna stay within here, then that's fine. But uh, there's seems like at this point, if there's going to be a good breakout to the upside, then it, it should be happening uh, reasonably soon. Okay, interesting. Um, so that's the idea for the daily on the pirate chain, and that's the RBTC price chart. Okay, so we're going to see what happens. Um, and looking forward to continue that with you. But yes, if you were watching the videos uh, a while back, you would have remembered when these were just forming over here. Wow, I had ideas of expanding triangles and all kinds of madness, but it turned out to be much more simple. And uh, <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, now we're here. Um, and we're just going to see what happens on the daily time frame. All right. Uh, looking to break break out of this. Now, if we take it into, uh, into the, the candlesticks, um, we see that it, it follows the bodies because that's what the bodies represent is the closings. And then we have wicks that go higher. So you could measure things using wicks and but it changes ideas uh, a little bit, but not nothing tremendous. Okay, cool. That's about it. I think we are done for now. All right, land ho, let's go and take a look. Uh, but right now we're sitting at $2.23 USDT, our USDT on KuCoin exchange. So there you go. I hope you're doing well. Enjoying yourselves out on the waters and on the lands and in the skies. Okay, looking like we're hitting some resistance at this level. 
Can we move through? That would be nice. Then we'd have one bottom and another bottom. Ooh, double bottoms. Okay. And whatever that means to you. That's it for now. I'm done here. Thanks a lot for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Love, peace, happiness.